All right, it's part two and best gear of the year. Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. I have my second part in my best gear of the year. If you want to see the first part of the video, it'll be in a link up here. And that one was talking about everyday carry products and grooming products. Today, we're gonna have a whole video dedicated to clothes and shoes. What are my best clothes and shoes of the year? Now, I know a lot of people are asking because um, I see in the comments. So I have a lot of great suggestions here. And like I mentioned in the previous video, I get sent a lot of things and I buy a lot of things for this channel. Some things make the cut, some things don't, but these are all the best of the best products that I think are phenomenal. These are products that I really used a lot last year. It doesn't necessarily discount everything that I reviewed in other videos. These are just ones that are my personal favorites. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get to some of the best clothes of the year. All right, of course, I've got clothes here that I want to talk about. A few things that I really loved from Taylor Stitch this year has been their merino base clothing, especially their merino Henley, their Western shirt, and their jungle shirt. I have a huge video about Taylor Stitch coming in the future, um, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I've gotten to try so many things from Taylor Stitch. Almost everything that I've tried has been exceptional, but these three in particular this year have stood out to me as being some of the best things from them. Their merino base line I've tried before, re reviewed before, but they just came out with a Henley version of the merino base shirts and it's been um, one of my go-to shirts again. I love the merino t-shirts a lot. They're just shirts that I wear constantly every week it seems. And these merino Henleys have been another one of those shirts that I go to and I just wear a lot. I love how they feel. They're stretchy, they fit just superbly. They feel great. Can't say enough about them, they're just great. And of course, their Western shirt. I love their Western shirt. In a recent video that I made about Western shirts, this has been one of my favorites in my Western shirt collection here. And it is one that I wear a lot. And I think it looks the best. Out of the Western shirts that I have, I think it looks the best on me. It's very durable and it fits phenomenal. Love it. Then the jungle shirt. The jungle shirt, I don't believe I've talked about yet, but it's a new shirt that they came out this year. And it is a funny looking shirt that has really cool flat pockets that are slanted. It has a funny placket with kind of hidden buttons, but I love it. It works so well with me. It's lighter weight. It works great in the summertime. Of course, it's short sleeve, but I love the kind of off kilter look to it. The button flaps kind of remind me of kind of anime eyebrows or something. <laughs> That's again, another thing, another quirky thing that I love about this shirt. Next is the Green Mountain Cashmere pullovers or hoodies. Now I did a video about these and these were really a surprise to me. Um, I hadn't had anything that was made of cashmere like real cashmere before these were exceptional they fit great on me and these are some that i wore a lot i i love how kind of temperature regulating it feels it's really soft it fits great and uh these just really blew me away they sent them to me i wasn't exactly sure what i was going to think about them but they really surprised me so highly recommend these Next is the Denim by Mott & Bow. Mott & Bow was another brand that came to me this year and they sent me a few things, but their denim was what really got me just because of how great it fits. Now, denim kind of comes in two different styles. You have kind of your hardcore denim, which is just selvage, unwashed denim that you get. It looks like armor when you first get it. And then there's kind of the more comfort wear that you get. Maybe it's a lighter weight, or maybe it has a stretchy fabric that's woven into the denim. This was more so in that category, in the second category. So it's more of a comfort style of denim. And I think both have their place. And I go to these a lot. I think they look great. They feel fantastic. They're denim that I have worn every single week since I got them. They're just that good. So I love these. I can highly recommend them. I know that eventually they'll probably stretch out over time, but with denim, I don't mind. I don't mind getting that because I know that they'll look good while I'm wearing them at the time. And I think it's worth it. So yeah, Mott & Bow denim. All right, fellas, next is just the best underwear I've ever tried. It is the GOAT underwear, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. And that is from Mack Weldon. Now, Mack Weldon, I have no affiliation with them. I know they sponsor a lot of videos and, and podcasts and that kind of thing. I got them as a gift and I tried them and I could not believe how good these underwear are. They are incredible. They fit so well. Um, I know every body shape is different. Maybe different brands are better on different people. But personally, I find that these 
have the best fit that I've ever tried. Of course, as a guy, I'm always looking for the underwear that fits the best and works great, has the least amount of <laughs> swamp crotch and uh, chafing and bunching and that kind of thing. I'm not gonna show you them on me. You're welcome. These are absolutely amazing. And their air knit in particular, I believe that's what it's called, is my favorite. I have a couple of different kinds, but this is the best. Next is Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs is another brand that really surprised me because I thought that they were stupid. <laughs> I thought that these were gonna be dumb. And they contacted me asking me if I'd be willing to uh, consider a review. They sent me some products and I was legitimately shocked. These are great. These are really great. Now their whole kind of spiel, their, their kind of hook is that they make pants with undies. But it's more than that. They do make pants with undies. You can get them without lined underwear in there if you want. I got both kinds and I like both for different reasons. But what I really love about them is that they're just high quality. I have a whole video up here if you wanna go and watch the whole video. But both their shorts and their pants are great and I wear them a lot for different reasons. I think they work great in more of a kind of casual style, even some athletic style applications there, especially their shorts. They're so incredibly comfortable. Amazing. Next are the shorts by Proof. Now I tried a couple of different shorts from them in a video that I made about shorts, which you can go and watch up here. Proof really stood out to me for a couple of different reasons. Um, they're kind of a technical fabric type of brand. I didn't think that I would like that as much, but I ended up wearing these probably the most out of all the shorts that I have, just because they were just easy to wear all the time. They just fit great. They are stretchy in the best kind of ways. They just conform to your body and I love that. Both shorts that I got are great and I wore them a lot. So yeah, definitely check these out. Next are the American Giant trench pants. I haven't tried any pants from American Giant until recently and these pants were some that again, I was so thrilled with. I knew that I would probably like these just because American Giant, it really resonates with me. They're a great brand and make high quality products in the USA. Everything they make has just been a real hit with me and their pants are exceptional. They're kind of a, a stretch canvas type of cloth there. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel like it's too suffocating on your body. It feels like it's a little bit breathable. It has a little bit, tiny bit of stretch in there and they look fantastic. So love these. Next are some sunglasses and these are by Randolph's again. Now, many of you know, I love Randolph's. They're some of my favorite sunglasses of all time, really. And I use them every single day. And these just came recently and they're their silver aviators. It's part of a silver and gold collection that they released for the holidays. I've always loved the squared aviators from Randolph, but re what really got me were the silver mirrored finish with the silver frames and how lightweight they were with these Skytech lenses that they have there. They are incredible. They look incredible just by looking at them. Uh, the performance is incredible just looking through them. And overall, they're just a joy to wear. I love these and I cannot stop wearing them. I wear them now every single day and they've replaced my older pair. The older pair is kind of now a secondary pair that I carry in a different car. All right, next are three shoes here. The first one is shoes from Allbirds. Allbirds makes a lot of products from kind of interesting components, one of them being merino wool. And since I have a video on merino wool coming soon, I got some shoes from Allbirds that are made for merino wool, especially their upper there, and they've been some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Absolutely fantastic. Stay tuned for the video on that. But these are great shoes. I love them. Highly recommend them. Definitely check them out. Next are Glyph shoes. Now I did a video in the summertime about great summertime shoes. And these were ones that really surprised me. When I got these, I was blown away by how comfortable they are and just how they fit. They feel molded to my feet. They look great, feel comfortable. They're a great summertime shoe and you definitely need some glyphs. I, I, I can highly recommend these. And the last pair of shoes here are Nisolo boots. And I forget which model these are. I'll have the link down below to them. But Nisolo has been a brand that I've been following for a while. I've had these boots actually for a few years. These are a kind of chukka or desert boot style shoe. And these are some of my go-to shoes almost weekly. I go to these a lot. They look great in anything. They feel great. They're really comfortable. I find they're actually pretty durable. And I, I just 
really like these a lot. I think more people should find out about Nasolo. I think they're really kind of a sleeper brand, but I can highly recommend them. Check them out. So that's all I have. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these? Um, what are some things, some clothes that you really liked last year? I'd love to know your thoughts about what you think are the best clothes from last year. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you're interested in any of these, I have links down below to these and they are affiliate links. Anything you buy through them will help out the channel and I always appreciate when you do that. And of course, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Bay Reviews.